This movie is phenomenal. It's <laughs> amazing from start to finish. It sucked me in the second I started watching, and oh. the cinematography is wonderful, and the characters are so wonderful. I'm curious to start with, where did you start with this? How did you come up with the idea? Was there a kernel that started, or how long have you been working on it? Um, I started to write this film, uh, I think, six years ago or something. So it was right before I, I finished um, my first feature, A Brother's Love. And I really wanted to make a, a love story. Like, there's not so much love story in our Quebecois French uh, right. cinema. So I was, we are really good at family uh, stories and coming of age, but not so much at love stories. So I really want to, to dive in this, uh, this subject. And I think myself, I was like stuck between this idea of like, I, I'm, a, I'm someone who's in love with love, but I have trouble with couple, like this idea of being in a couple, in a relationship, like how does it work? And so I started to figure out this, this kind of idea of like this woman, meeting this guy uh, and having like this relationship between two men who has like gives them different part of herself you know right how how did you find Michael Lee and what did she bring to Sophie I didn't have to find her because <laughs> I was always there, <laughs> she was always there. she's I, I, I she's my best friend too that we have to know that but it's not because I, I chose her it's because I think she's one of the greatest actresses I've met in my life and and it was kind of natural for me to, I mean, it, it, it took a while to, to give you the part. Like yeah. she, she's one of my first uh, reader mm. uh, in my project. So she, she probably uh, read it like three years before we shoot or yeah. the, we oh. had the shooting. And uh, I think I uh, proposed her the, the, the part like a, a year before, like, or a few, I don't know, mm. a year. I yeah, guess. it took her forever. <laughs> no, because it, <laughs> Like, I really want to make sure like it was like the right idea and mm. what I like in her is she's uh, she's um, very beautiful very sensual and she she calls love but all, she also a, a brilliant person intellectual and and she she has a very profound reflection uh, about the world and so I think uh, she was like the perfect match for this this part you know? but I would add too that the comedy, it, it's very rare to see a movie like this that balances that emotional aspect and the comedy. Absolutely. And, you know, to call you out, your comedy, you're hilarious. Like, some <laughs> of the scenes are phenomenal. I think the the scene with the gloves alone yeah. uh, is out there laughing. Laughing and cringing and, like, you know, it's, it's amazing. So, I guess for you, coming into Sophie, what... Did you relate to a lot of her? Did you find things that you know drew you in? What what was that like to find her? Yeah. Um, well, as Manya uh, said earlier, um, she, I read this the the script um, years ago, way before she even thought of me for the part, and I instantly fell in love with the character and ob obviously the movie itself. Uh, Manya is one of the rare. Um, writers whom I can read and laugh out loud reading her scripts. It's, it's, a, it's a rare thing. Um, I loved what the film talked about, the complexity to it, the, uh, the way that she kind of takes our hand and just brings us, like she, she makes us travel into a woman's mind and body with such ease. Uh, bringing us to laugh and 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 cry and but with um, such intelligence, um, such uh, profound knowing of the, the 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 human yeah the humanity right. and um, for the comedy side, which is really interesting, is that the the script was really really funny, but she didn't direct us that way. Uh, and she uh, directed us with a lot of intensity because obviously the characters are not aware that they're in a comedy and for them, like everything they go through is such right. tragedy. It, they're almost pathetic right. uh, as we all are when we fall in love and the gravity to it, which brings a lot of laughter because uh, we, when we watch the movie, we have a perspective on them and their love story and their issues 
but they do not. And uh, I thought that was like really brilliant from her part. Well, I also found that I was drawn in because it felt almost like a Greek tragedy meets yeah. some sort of something from like 50, 60 years ago, maybe in cinema. Absolutely. And, which is something we don't see enough of today, I would say that it's almost like um, a refresher in cinema to me that like it draws on something old and makes it new again. So when you're directing this team and kind of, I guess, having a vision, what, what's your, what's your go-to? Is it something you're, you're aiming them towards or how do you direct? Well, it's an instinct for me. Like it's difficult to say like, oh, I like, there's no, like goal or like idea of what I want to do exactly but my 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 target is always uh, what for me feels um, true mm. which is not even realistic right. <laughs> but true for myself and so I don't like I'm my my actors always say like this is weird because like we, we, we read the scenes at home and then like we have the, an idea of how it's gonna go and mm. then we start to shoot and like it's like 180 degrees of what we were thinking of. Mm. So like, oh yeah, well, I don't know. It's, for me, it's like just, this is the, I always talk, think about what is true to themselves, like what is mm. true to myself when I watch them. And, and also that's true that I, I always like never push on comedy because I, mm. I feel that, um, I always like say to my actor like play like it was it, it is a Birdman film like because comedy is like as she said like something we the, the character has to feel the deepness and right. the sadness of the situation to being fun you know like I always see when when actors try to like they, when when director or actors like know that something is fun and they push the the, the funny thing and and you, the, the viewer feel outside of this um, comedy and. Mm. And when we laugh, it's because like we recognize each other, like in this uh, uh, our like bad sides or, or fun right. sides, you know, fun, fun sides. So, yeah, actors aren't always brilliant. <laughs> we ha often have a tendency to um, act and play what is already written, and Manya always takes the opposite way to what seems obvious. Mm. So it, it, it gives to, I think, to the scenes and the film many layers. Right. And um, which is it, one thing really interesting about, one of the many things interesting about the, her cinematography and the way she shot the film is that she used a lot of zooms. Yes. So we actors had a lot of space to act and experiment because the camera was always pretty far away from us. Right. But then they, she, she used the zoom to come like almost too close, but we felt that space that we needed to, you right. know, uh, move around. But then the camera seeks for the emotion, the, the you know, the details. And I, I think as a, as a, when, when you watch the movie, you feel like you're almost in a, not a documentary, but I mean, you feel like you're, uh, um, you're certain things that you're not supposed to see right. or that you're trying to see. And yeah, she, she played a lot with that. It's, it's a great style to, it feels like we're being drawn in watching them. Uh -huh. that, that, you know, from the perspective of the viewer, that's what I felt that I was like, almost leaning <laughs> into those moments. It's like some of the, like uh, the cinematography alone is, phenomenal and then the editing and everything else but I guess coming back to working with yeah. her what what's your relationship like after this long that you've known each other I didn't think that we could get any more that we could be any more closer than we already were <laughs> but it's like it, yeah I was I'm always afraid to work with my friends because like we have this equality relationship and mm. then like I'll be not her boss, but you know, I have to like, direct her in a sense. And so I was afraid of that and, and I couldn't think, as you said, that we could love each other more than we do. And she gave me a really big present to, to uh, be Sophia because mm. the character would not be as good if she would do it. 
Mania is a great leader. She's a natural leader, um, but she's yes. also a very positive <laughs> one. Yes. Um, <laughs> there's a lot, you know, there's a, <laughs> there's a lot of collaboration. She knows exactly where she wants to go, mm. but uh, she just draws everyone t towards her, and mm. um, there's a lot of uh, there was a lot of fun actually on mm. the on, on the shoot. It was a, it was joyful. It was playful. It was collaborative. It was, um, yeah. We all had the feeling that we were um, all telling the story together. Mm. So that creates a, like a very strong bond between the, uh, well, everybody working on the film. Mm. That's amazing. Well, having brought this to Khan and now to Tiff. What has that experience been like, and what has the reaction been like so far? A lot of clothes. <laughs> yeah. So many dresses. Oh, dresses. <laughs> Too much dresses. <laughs> Makeup, dress, hair, <laughs> and so much sleep. Um, uh, drink. <laughs> uh, well, Cam was really cool. Was was kind of magical because well, Cam is is always special and magical when you and it's your first time you shoot a film that you work on for five six years so it's a mm. it's a really thrilling and exciting moment and it was kind of cool um people were receptive to the film and so it was a very yeah beautiful moment and then i i I traveled a bit this summer, in, uh, especially in France, we had like few festivals, so right. I had like th this new uh, relationship with the, with the viewer and people who were uh, seeing the film, so I, I really always like the exchange with, uh, like, I like, I like journalists, you're nice, but <laughs> people who come to the cinema and have a real talk with you, right. it's always very interesting because they don't have, uh, the, the, they don't have the skills of like, being like a professional of like what they want to talk about, so right. they talk with their heart. And this mm. film is very special for that because it feels like sometimes I'm, I'm almost like a, a, a shrink, you know, or a psychologist for people because people talk from their own perspective of, of love. It's so the, the, the way they oriented their their, their question or mm. like the 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 the, really, the the talk with me, it's always like you know, like I. I for me, like, I, or like they say, I always feel like the end of the film, 50% find it very, uh, um, like, um, um, not happy, but kind of like a release. Right. And, and a second, 50% of the people find it very sad. So right. I always like to see like what yeah. kind of people you are when, <laughs> when you feel at the end of the movie, you know? There aren't so many comedies in the festivals either. Right. And uh, something really uh, that can be really exciting, but also cruel with comedy is that you get a, an instant response. Right. And I, I, it just shocked me in Cannes because the, the viewers came from all around the world. Mm. The film is not only in French, but it's in Quebecois. Uh, it's, it's, it's part of my, uh, really our identity, the, right. the different um, uh, levels of, of language, the vocabulary, uh, the sceneries, you know, the landscapes are very, they're, they feel like home. Right. They, they speak of us. But then it was so universal and the mm. response was so generous. So there were viewer, viewers um, from all around the world who didn't speak French, couldn't understand our accent or anything, mm. read the subtitles and laughed at the exact same time. And just talking about it, I'm, you know, I have shivers because yeah. I have goosebumps because, uh, yeah, it was a really extraordinary experience. It's, it's an amazing film. I enjoyed it more than half the things I've seen at TIFF. So oh, well. congratulations, it's, Thank you it's so much. phenomenal. Thank you. Thank you.